What's up my Fina loves, it's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Timmy News. When I posted that video yesterday that had our adorable Brooklyn, stunning Kenya Moore, Stash and stunning Kenya Moore, Akila, and Candy yesterday, this is what I said about Candy going on Amazon Live and possibly giving us some tea and update on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And of course, no news yet on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but Candy is currently doing an Amazon Live. And you already know I always come with the tea from Candy Amazon Live. So just in case anyone wants to ask her about updates on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, I will be back with that video. Like I said, regardless of what happens, our girl was Kenya Moore before the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she will continue to be the iconic Kenya Moore that she is after. If you missed that video, please click the very first link in the description below to watch that video. Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Candy. And I'm about to be live on Amazon Live. I cannot wait to see you guys. I cannot wait to talk and chit chat in the comments. So make sure you join me at 1 p.m. EST. Tap that link. See you soon what's up guys i just had a great time on amazon live with my peoples all my peoples who've joined my live and have become a part of my amazon family you see the puff coat right <laughs> it came from amazon you see all these little fits behind me they come from amazon and the ugg boots i got on i don't know if you see it's, it's some ugg boots over there you see them they came from amazon anyway if you want to see the live and check out some of the items that we had and hear some of the little uh, tea that I may have dropped throughout the show, you can still go back and watch. Tap that link. That green against her complexion, everything. So I went ahead and tapped the link in her Instagram story. As you can see, it took me directly to her Amazon live. So let's get into it. Hey, what's up, guys? I am your girl, Candy, and welcome back to Amazon Live. Woo! I am so glad to be back with you guys. This is my first time seeing you again in the new year. Did you miss me? You have not seen me all year on Amazon. What is that? Well, now that we are here and you are there, I just want to say thank you guys for joining me. Uh, ooh. Just ask any T or RHOA you can share with us. Other than they still haven't told everybody who they bring back. Yeah, they over here, they being real, uh, real tripping. Because they act like people don't have a life. People got lives around here. We got to make plans for other things. Uh, yes. And Randy says, can you please tell us you'll be a part of the new cast for RHOA? They are still working on the new cast, so I can't tell you anything. Um, I would love to be able to tell you something, but I can't right now. I completely understand and agree with Candy. Yes, you all pay me well, and I get it, and I'm grateful. However, I have things to do. You can't have me over here trying to second guess, should I accept this movie role? Should I do this business deal that's going to keep me away for a few months or whatever? You know, over here got me second guessing my, you know, decision and things because I don't know when I'm going to get that call saying filming the Real Housewives of Atlanta is about to start. But I have moves to make. I have plans. I have businesses. I have career moves to make. And if I go and sign off on certain contracts, and take these people money, I can't just be like, oh, by the way, I can't do it anymore because the Real Housewives of Atlanta is back. So figure out whatever you have to figure out and get back to business. So in as much as it wasn't much of a huge, you know, T, at least we have an update that so far they still have not decided on the cast that they're bringing back. But we already know Kenya Moore better be there unless you really don't care about the Real Housewives of Atlanta feature anymore. That's the only reason why she wouldn't be there. Because, I mean, who else and what else is there to listen to or watch? You already know what time I'm on. Kenya leaves, I leave. You know, I'm only 
hanging on by a thread because Kenya Moore is there. I've been saying that forever, for years. I also heard allegedly that one of the people who's a major factor for why the season was so terrible got fired allegedly okay listen i don't want to lose their job but even if he didn't get fired at least have a conversation do better because the real housewives of atlanta and the real housewives of potomac fans are dragging you and that production company and whoever over here faking beefs manufacturing storylines favoritism and all of that it's just a hot mess be professional and do your job no one is saying don't befriend the cast, don't have friends and all of that. But when you start cutting out people entire real genuine storyline and favoritism and all of that and bias editing, you got to go. Now, the Real Housewives of Atlanta, they've always been terrible towards Kenya Moore. But the last season was the worst. This woman built an entire hair spa and we all saw how she was treated. I've done countless of videos on this, so I'm not going to be repetitive. For those of you who missed those videos, you can go to the RHOA playlist on this channel and watch everything I had to say. Now, Candy did talk about the possibility of Escape having another reality TV show. We know the last one was a hot mess, but hey, get your money. Hey, what's the status of Escape getting another reality show? Also, can we get an Escape tour? Call it a family affair. That is so funny you ask. They are having conversations um, about Escape doing another reality show, which I don't know why I would even um, want to put myself through that again because it's, it's st more stressful doing the Escape reality shows than it is Real Housewives. I'm telling you. It's crazy. If you ever miss the escape, um, our escape, um, was it still kicking? It was the yeah, first definitely. one we did. And then SWV escape, Queens of R&B was the second one we did. If you miss either one of those series, you need to go to Peacock and watch this, honey. It's crazy. And also possibly filming the past, you know, part two, because the first one, you know, she said that people have been asking for part two. I'm going to read some comments. It says, Tiffany asks, how are you and Todd doing after the writer's strike? Any new projects? Actually, we are already, Ty finished writing another movie. Um, it's not part two of the past yet, because I know a lot of people are like, is that part two of the past? Part two will be coming, but we already have this one. So we um, are planning pre-production now. We're about to start doing this thing where we start doing casting and all that stuff. I actually decided, I think I'm going to, like, Oh, did y'all see the um, dinner that I did with the people who run my fan pages? My, my blind is um, flighty. So Zaria, shout out to you. She was a part of organizing that. Um, she pulled everybody together. But with that, it, it struck another nerve in me. I think I'm actually going to start like a membership club. Now, this is separate from them because I love them and they're always going to be their own group. But um, where I have like different things and events and stuff that people can be a part of. So as we are starting to do this new movie if you want to watch the process i suggest when i drop the information to be part of this membership you should be a part of it because you will have access to see every bit of how we put this movie together Haley asks who did your hair today it looks so good thank you friend my girl so jody did this it's a cute little new wig i guess a little auburn it's not quite redhead candy i know a lot of our Real Housewives fans like the redhead candy. I don't know. If I don't know if why because redhead candy is crazy apparently. <laughs> but um, she's a little burgundy, but she's not quite red. So that's what I wanted to tell you. If you're going through something right now, things ain't feeling so bright. A lot of us at this time of year may feel a little wonky because you know it's dead, you know it's dreary, and the weather is, isn't great in all places. Well, just know that there is somebody out there that you bright up their life when you walk into the room. And even if you don't brighten up their life, brighten up yourself. You got to be your own cheerleader and know that whatever you're dealing with right now is only temporary because it cannot rain forever. OK, so with that being said, know that I love you, babes. Here's a virtual hug from me to you. Thank you for even chiming in, joining in. It really made me feel good that you wanted to sit in with me today. I hope you saw some things that you like. Like I said, I would love it if you could at least get one thing. 
least one. And I will see you next time on Amazon Live. Mwah. Just a quick little short update on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. They are still over there trying to figure it out. I wish you all of you well in I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.